Hey guys, it's Justin again. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to put a uh, video as your background. Uh, it's called the program's called Video Wallpaper or V Wallpaper. Um, I've had to make a few videos about this so far, um, simply because the developer keeps making updates and it keeps giving people problems. Um, so today I'm going to show you um, what I hope to be um, one of the last videos I have to make on this. Um, but uh, seeing as how things go, it's probably not going to be the case. Um, for all of you that have uh, used my repo source, the repo.sc slash jtizzle, um, I'm going to have to ask you to remove it simply because I believe that um, this is one of the things that have been giving people problems. Not because my repo source is bad, there's a lot of good things on it. Um, but because the developers released version 1.1 of a um, installer package called Screw Common, but and then they changed their minds and went back to Screw Common 1.0, and it didn't update on my repo source website, and so that's what ever, that's why everyone was giving uh, getting the uh, um, the download uh, failed um, error message. And so we're just going to go ahead and use the source that comes right from the company um, that is making uh, V wallpaper. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to is we're, first if you've already attempted to install anything um, that having to do with V wallpaper, I want you to go ahead and uninstall it, which means uninstalling Screw Common and also uninstalling V wallpaper any version. Um, at this point you're also going to want to if you already have go ahead and remove my old repo source for now I mean there are some good things on it um, but I guess I'm just going to remove the V wallpaper and screw common off from my repo source the, the books and other apps are still going to be available on, on my repo source which is repo.sc slash j t i z z l e but um, I'm going to take off those two other things because they're causing people problems and I'm going to show you guys uh, what to actually you're going to want to install. Um, so we're going to go ahead and, in, and hit installer and we're going to add a new source. Okay, hit sources, edit, add. And the source you're, go you're going to want to add is lowercase i. dot dansta oops come on fingers dansta face dot net so i dot dansta face dot net that's going to be in my uh, description so no need to worry about um hit OK. Sources are going to refresh. <laughs> All right, great. We're going to hit done. Okay, then we're going to go to install. And we're going to install two things, one before the other. We're going to go down to system under categories. We're going to scroll down to screw common. Okay, see how it's version 1.0. Then we're going to hit install. comes up with a notice that says thank you please reboot, reboot your phone to activate it hit OK and then we're going to stay in categories scroll down to multimedia scroll all the way to the bottom to view wallpaper it's version 0 0.8 for the time being um, it does go up quite frequently they do update it a lot um, last week they've updated it five times. Um, it's still in its pretty much its trial version. 
um, they're just figuring out all the bugs um, so just keep that in mind that it won't always say 0 0.8 so you go ahead and click install and then download and install it okay we're all done with the installer so we just hit the home button and get out of that it's going to update okay now what we can do is go ahead and reboot your phone hold down the top button for a few seconds until it says slide to power off okay now that it has shut off we'll go ahead and push down the top button again to reboot and now while we're waiting for it to reboot um, I just want to tell you guys that um, probably later today or sometime soon I'm going to be uh, putting up a video of how to install and use Customize 2.0 um, a lot of people have been having problems getting that to work and they've installed it and they'll open it up and it'll just go back to the home screen I'm going to show you the source and also I'll show you the uh, um, the things you need to install beforehand before you install uh, Customize 2.0 to get it to work and it works for me it's, it's great I actually have it it's right there and it's wonderful wonderful program alright so we've installed vWallpaper. It's right there. Let's go ahead and open that up. So we installed two things, ScrewCommon 1.0 and vWallpaper 0.8. Um, those are the current versions um, as of today. Uh, I believe today's May 5th. Come on. Okay. Gonna enable video. Come on, you. You know you want to work. Alright, so it's just going to decide to be stupid right now. There we go. It's a typical problem with a program that's in its developing stages. It's a little buggy. There we go. Going to enable video to on. You actually want to do it a couple times so that it resets. Make sure it stays on on. You're going to select a video. It's going to come with fire.mov and weather.mov or weeder.mov. Um, it has a way that you can download videos from the developer's website. They're all listed here. Okay, the hearts. I only checked out one and it was pretty uh, gay, so I haven't really installed any more. Um, but the other ones are pretty neat. The fireworks is pretty neat. The laser show is pretty neat. Um, I'll just give you an idea of what it looks like. Um, just choose uh, Matrix. I'll restart the springboard because this is my first time using it. Well, since I've reinstalled it anyway. Okay. going to update alright a little matrix, matrix action in the back there um, not really sure why it keeps updating it has happened to me before so my guess is it's just my probably my connection but there you are so yeah matrix action in the background and there's a there's ton there's a ton other other ones um, to choose from also um, if you want to check out my other video uh, I think it's entitled new video wallpapers and create your own um, it'll show you how to get new wallpapers um, that you can download and, and SSH into your phone um, it also tells you how to convert your own movie files into .mov files to put to SSH into your to your iPhone or, or iPod touch all right, guys. Hope that, hope that this has help, been helpful, and uh, hopefully you guys won't have too, more, too many more problems. All right, guys. Good luck.